Hello, my name is Richie and today I'll be sharing with you the aesthetically pleasing book tag. I was tagged to do this video a long time ago. I was tagged by the creator of this tag, which is super exciting, and that is Jen over at Book Syrup. I will link her channel as well as the original video down below. And this is a really cool tag all about book covers and book beauty, so I am really excited to share it with you. The first question is best color combo on a book. I really just like blue and purples. So I have some examples of blue and purples that I'm kind of thinking of, like The Diviners by Libba Bray, or Crown of Embers by Ray Carson, or even the Lunar Chronicle books by Marissa Meyer. I just think the colors blue and purple look really great together. Question number two is best typography. For me, this has to be the passenger duology. So here I have Pathfinder. I just think this font is just gorgeous. This is what Passenger and Wayfair look like and I just think that font that that is written in is just gorgeous. I'm obsessed with it and the swoopiness of it and just the way it looks all together. Ugh. I'm a big fan. Question number three is best simple covers. For this, I'm going with all of the Pup and Classic books. I only have two, A Little Princess and The Secret Garden, but I think they're just beautiful. They're all just one tone with a simple design on repeat on it, and I just think they just look so beautiful, but they are most definitely a very simple design. Question number four is the best in pages. I'm going to do the archived by V. Schwab for this one, and the in pages are just this most beautiful print that is like silver and black and I just love it. Question number five is the best map and for this one I had to go with the Mime Order by Samantha Shannon just because this is one of the few maps that I've actually referenced while reading. I love books with maps but to be honest other than in the beginning and the end looking at them I don't really reference them when I'm reading but I did during this one. I really reference this map just to give me context. I didn't really have to but I love these books so much I was super interested in learning more about the world and this map really helped with that. Question number six is best naked hardback and for this I'm going with Heartless by Marissa Meyer which is about Alice in Wonderland and it's just this beautiful checkered design with the crown for the Queen of Hearts in the middle. I just really do love this. Question number seven is best back cover. I don't know if this is really cheating because this book doesn't technically have a back cover but I'm going with Replica by Lauren Oliver because which one's the back cover? Which one's the front? They're all the back. They're all the front. If you don't know, this is a book that is told in two different perspectives, so you can alternate how you read it. You can read one perspective, then flip it over and read another perspective. Start with this one, switch it over to this one, whatever you want to do. And because of that, they're both the back, they're both the front. What is the front? What is the back? I guess the publishers would have me believe this is the back, because that's where that little barcode is. Blows my mind, man. Not really, but I do really enjoy this concept. Question number eight is best chapter headers. I'm going with a classic here and going with Harry Potter. I love these chapter headers. The illustrations at the top of each chapter are my favorite thing ever. Question number nine is best illustrations. I'm obviously going with the illustrations in Harry Potter illustrated editions, both of them, all of them, doesn't matter. These illustrations are just breathtaking and I love them and how could they not win this category? Not that this is like an award show, but they win. Question number 10 is the best spines, and you might be able to tell by this gaping hole behind me that I've selected the Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. I really like when spines make up a picture, and this one does. Together, it's the three of them staring at the bridge with the little creepy monsters. The reprinting of the Mortal Instruments does a very similar thing. So does the new editions of Percy Jackson, as well as the most recent paperback editions of Harry Potter. These are just the only ones I own, but I'd say my favorite are probably the Harry Potter ones. Question number 11 is your favorite cover on your shelf. If I had to pick one, it's one I've already talked about today, but it's Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. I just think this cover is so absolutely gorgeous and stunning and it just takes my breath away. I think it's so great. Molly Jacks did the lettering, which I have previously talked about how much I love this lettering. Marcy Sanders put the entire cover together and Illusion CGI Studios did the cover art. And I don't think this cover would be outstanding with any one of those three parties not involved. I think it took all of those pieces to make this so beautiful. The art, the way it's put together, the font, the placement of the words that do need to be there. I just think it's stunning. And the last question is of course to tag three friends. So I'm gonna tag Stephanie at Pink Lemonade Reads, Ainsley at Books and Things, and Carolyn from Bubbly Book Nerd. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. You should also comment down below and let me know what your favorite book cover on your shelf is. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.